healthcare has changed dramatically um, over the last several years, and it's really time for us, and actually beyond the time, where we need a new emergency room to really reflect the quality of care that we're providing today for our community. I want to talk about the emergency services, if you don't mind. If I'm not mistaken, is it true that 70% of admissions into the hospital have come via... Even a little bit over. So it really is the front door of the hospital. It's the portal of entry, really, for health care in the community. Our emergency department is popular. We are not able to handle the flow in our 30-year-old emergency department, which was built for a, a census, an annual census of patients of maybe up to 7,000 a year. We're already seeing 13,000 patients a year. The new ED will have a totally new separate entrance in the front of the hospital, and greater accessibility, nicer waiting area, more private registration functions. We are going to be uh, building uh, registration rooms where they can uh, talk about their uh, vital data, their, sim their personal symptoms, without anyone else hearing. Uh, the rooms are going um, from probably about 120 square feet to 150 square feet because we have so much new technology, both in terms of emergency crash carts, video cameras, things of that nature, um, have created much more demands in terms of the actual size of the emergency department rooms. So right now, our emergency department doesn't have any means to um, take care of the low triage, the low acuity patients in a rapid fashion. It can clog the flow system um, and the flow of patients. We will have two rapid treatment rooms, which we don't have right now. So for folks in, with minor emergencies, urgent care, they can be uh, treated and released, I think, in a much more rapid way than what we're doing right now. So there's just a whole new level of uh, privacy and comfort and really accessibility to our patients. Everything in healthcare begins and ends with how it impacts patients. Vermont is a small rural state and having access to healthcare services exists in our small community hospitals. It is the place where patients know 24-7 that they have a place to go. Having a facility that provides physicians with an environment and the tools that they need to provide high quality care to their patients is an added draw. And what physicians are looking for now is stability and security. There's going to be a lot of questions of what the hospital of the future might look like. And the way that an emergency room fits in there and uh, electronic health records fit into that whole equation is that electronic health records will provide a communication tool for physicians. So that now it can be part of your main hospital electronic medical record, as well as having an electronic medical record that we can then share with your own private physician. So it's those little connections, those little communications that happen between care providers about a patient's condition that can make the difference between a patient coming into the hospital and a patient getting cared for at home. The Brattleboro Memorial Hospital is really an anchor to the community and the emergency room really is the open door to that community. You know we are really on the cutting edge we're really trying to do something different. So we're looking forward to having a place where we can work in a space that will uh, be positive, a positive experience for everybody. A new emergency room for Brattleboro Memorial and most importantly will be a benefit to the patients and the community that you serve. All of the change is designed to help improve the quality of care and lower the cost over time.